Hi everybody, I am flying with my kids for the first time. I'm doing this solo. I've taken several flights with them from US to Thailand, from Thailand to India, from Bangkok to Phuket, from uh, California to Hawaii. I have done so many flights with them in the last three years, but this time I'm flying solo with them. Um, I hope it's gonna be fine. I've always had my mom or my husband accompany me with the kids whenever we flew, but I hope this flight with them goes okay. I have tried to prepare myself. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I packed in my carry-on luggage in case you want some ideas on what to pack for your toddlers. So this is what I'm packing in my carry-on luggage. Keisha, Alicia, my twins are three years old and uh, this is what I'm taking for them. These kind of books have uh, various kind of activities for them to do on every page and you need to use this uh, marker with whatever ink it has and uh, have not uh, introduced them to this at all before so this is something new for them. And um, one is for my boy and the other is for my girl. Um, that is just an iPhone stand. Um, that will be helpful for me when I don't have anything for support. And then those are some crayons from home that I'm taking for them. Um, and then I have these white sheets of paper that I can use for coloring and drawing and for them to just do whatever they want to do. And, and I do this a lot at home. I give them white sheets of paper for them to just do whatever they want. So that does keep them busy. So, I mean, you know your child best, what keeps your child occupied. So I know that a pen and paper will keep them occupied. And so the kind of pens I'm taking are the ones that just need a click. Um, then these are these alphabets with pictures that they uh, already know these. So it's good to keep something that's already familiar for them and some things that are new. So this they're familiar with. These are the alphabet puzzles. When you put all the A to Z together, you can you can see the picture and they they know how that um, they know how that works. I am also carrying stickers, although they're not very big on stickers. I was hoping, uh, taking each sticker out from this and um, maybe uh, putting it on paper or some activity that I can give them. I can put dots and make them take the sticker out and put the sticker only on that dot. Things like those that, you know, you can just come up with activities like those. So I'm hoping just putting stickers and taking it out can keep them busy. And scented stickers, this is new for them. So I'm pretty sure smelling the stickers and then peeling each one out and especially I love that these are little stickers so that their little fingers can take longer to take the sticker out and keep them busy. This is just, I don't know, I'm, I don't know why I'm carrying this, but just something in case my kid gets too restless and you know wants to have something in hands because they like doing that, especially my boy loves having something in his hands. This was also received in one of the party favors from their school so having a little paint box like this I think will be nice. I can just put some few drops of water and have them paint on the paper. Um, these were also received um, in, the, in those Valentine favor bags from their school. Basically, what I want to say is that I didn't end up buying new things just for traveling. I used up whatever we had received or whatever we had at home, even if those are little things. I'm pausing for a bit to quickly add that all of these things will be placed in the very lightweight black bag that you see underneath. And instead of opening the carry-on bag each time I want to do an activity, I'm going to just take the black bag out of the carry-on bag and keep it near my foot or um, under the seat for easy access. And then um, we have been learning about clock and time. So just something very light and weight again to, you know, just pass their time. This is a French memory game. I have not opened this packet yet, but this was also received in one of their Valentine bags. And so I'm carrying all the small things that I feel would be nice to keep them busy. This book was bought recently and um, they have done just this so far. So I'm gonna give them worksheets and they know that I'll be giving them worksheets from this book for them to do stuff. So that is plenty to keep them occupied and learn and just turn the pages to keep them busy. These are Melissa and Doug's reusable sticker pads. Melissa and Doug also has the puffy stickers uh, that are reusable. Melissa and Doug also has these excellent water well books that you just need to fill water in the pen and uh, use the pen um, on the pages um, uh, based on themes. 
So Keshav and Alicia already have the alphabet theme and uh, a pet shop and stuff like that. Um, and those are great for travel because you only need to fill water in that pen and the kid can just um, color with the water on the, sh on the paper. The images show up and then the water dries up and the images are gone again. And then, you know, it's, it's something great for travel, very light and weight and uh, something new for kids. But this one, Melted is reusable sticker pads. These are different scenes that they have. This is at a school. That is a fire station. This is a hospital. This is a restaurant. And this is a grocery store. And then there are stickers accordingly that they can um, peel it off from here, apply it here, and then peel it off again and keep reusing those stickers. So we've done two or three scenes from this book already and we've put those stickers back on the, on the sticker sheets over here and this I'm hoping will also keep them busy um, but with the reusable sticker pad I know they won't be able to do it on their own so I will be doing things along with them and I know anytime I am working alongside then they show more interest in whatever activity they're doing. So see what works for your kids like the things that I know works for my kids is what I'm taking along with me. Also planning my journey was important because I'm taking an overnight flight so hopefully if they'll be sleeping 9 to 10 hours of the flight then that leaves us with a few hours of layover and then a few more hours of travel time out of which they'll be eating some of the time. I'm hoping the flight will also have good movies to watch and that they will also provide headphones. If not, I'm carrying my earphones as well. So watching movies, I don't mind giving them screen time. So I've also uh, saved some videos, um, Dr. Seuss's Cat and Cat in the Hat videos and Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood videos. I have saved those in the iPad. So that's about all together, I think two hours of uh, videos that are there on the iPad. So I can show them in breaks, so I can show them on repeat mode. It doesn't matter to the kids as long as they're watching, watching the screen. Uh, so I have the iPad ready as well. Also in my uh, carry-on bag, I'm carrying extra pairs of clothes for them as well as for me. And then I have my laptop with me. I'm hoping there will be Wi-Fi on board. And uh, apart from that, I, um, I think a lot of airlines give a lot of um, stuff for kids, right? Like crayons, color pencils and stuff. So I'm hoping this new airlines for us also give something to the kids so there i think there's um i think i'm covered plenty I'm not taking way too many activities i don't want to get so overwhelmed about just keeping them busy and just taking so many activities for them and just going crazy about it but it's just taking enough to keep them busy or um and to do activities with them just like i do at home the only difference is that it's going to be a close pace but for that, uh, I've, I've kind of mentally prepared them um, since a few days and since a few weeks, actually. They're going to be going to the airport, flying in an airplane. So, um, so one of the ways I've been preparing them for their flight is using their toy airplane. And this is little Keisha. This is little Alicia. And then we go, uh, we are passing through security. And then we go tick, 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 tick. And we're going to be sitting in our flight. And then tick, 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 tick. And then after we sit in the flight, we're going to be buckling up and then we're going to, you know, stuff like that. So one of the other pretend plays that we had was uh, we put cushions on, in the living room, which were our flight seats. And then we would be sitting over there and buckling up and, uh, you know, and then now the plane is going to take off, you know, stuff like that. So that's another way uh, we had our pretend play um, a month ago. But no matter how much you prepare yourself mentally, no matter how much we prepare um, uh, activities and uh, just stuff for the kids to do, how a journey actually goes by is so unpredictable is what I have um, figured in all these uh, years of flying with the kids. So I'm just hoping things go fine. Um, and I hope the things I shared in my video helps you uh, to prepare and plan for your trip with your kids. Happy journey and just be relaxed. Keep calm so the kids get positive energy and positive vibes from you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.